This is Chuck Suter of ConstitutionalWar.org. Speaker of the House Tom Tillis vs. Pro-Life OBGYN Dr. Greg Brannon. Carl Rove vs. the Tea Party. Mitch McConnell vs. Rand Paul. However you shake it, this is going to be interesting here in North Carolina. Carl Rove is completely on board with Tom Tillis and he dodged my questions to him about the Tea Party at this year's state convention. Hey Mr. Rove, how you doing? You mind if I ask you why you are disgusted with the Tea Party and want to get rid of them? Greg Brannon, on the other hand, has earned the endorsement of Tea Party favorite Rand Paul, who had this to say. Greg Brannon is the clear choice for conservatives in North Carolina. And after the Nullify Now event, I had the opportunity to talk to Dr. Tom Woods, the man who wrote the book on nullification. Well, I would say I am envious of people in North Carolina that they have the opportunity to vote for somebody like Greg Brandon. I mean, yeah, you could vote for the same old boring establishment person who's going to say predictable things to you that he's, he's, he's focus grouped in advance and he's polled people to, 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 to find out if I use this phrase, are people going to like it? Or you could actually vote for a human being, number one, who will actually treat you like something other than a third grader. And again, who actually is knowledgeable about what the framers said, about what the great economists have said. I mean, it seems to me like the choice sort of makes itself. But, but yeah, it would be wonderful for people to elect him. And as I say, this is an opportunity people in most states don't have. As you can see to this very day, Speaker Tillis has refused to sign the pledge at don'tfundobamacare.com, while Greg Brandon has. And when I met him for the first time over a year ago, he had this to say. Article 1, Section 7, Clause 1 of the Federal Constitution states that all appropriations to the House. The House is controlled today by the Republicans. They could defund it today. My question is, why haven't they? Not one to be outdone on the very day that the House voted to defund Obamacare, Speaker Tillis took the bold step of telling us where he stands and said, yeah, we should use the CR and Republicans should stand on principles. Carl Rove, Richard Byrd, John Boehner, and Mitch McConnell are in lockstep with Speaker Tillis. But the question remains, will the Tea Party sit on the sidelines or will they respond in spades? Tea Party favorite Larry Pittman is already being primaried by one of Tom Tillis' agents for daring to speak the truth about the Speaker. They tell us all the time about how bad it was when they were in the minority and you couldn't get the... You know, the Democrat leadership wouldn't let them get their bills moved or anything. Well, now the constitutional conservatives in the Republican part of the House know what that's like. And I'm, you know, I'm potentially getting myself in real trouble telling you this stuff because the Speaker's office don't want you knowing this stuff. Thank you. So, Thank you. But now he's running for U.S. Senate, I plan to. Things have changed. Not long after that, Robert Brawley lost his gavel because he dared to answer a question honestly on the House floor. Mr. Brawley, you said something about somebody has told someone that I-95 would not be told. I, I have not heard that from anybody. Could you please expound on that, please, and say who, who told whom that I-95 would not be told if this bill passed? I can expand upon it. It's not part of this issue if you really want me to. The gentleman has the floor. The speaker spoke to the trucking association. I got told by 95. Yes! We told them that I 95 would not be told, and then shortly after that, we started hearing about I 77 being told. Do you really want public private partnerships? And I actually applaud the governor for the work that she did. I think we have to take a serious look at toll roads. That's why tolls, that's why public private partnerships. The lines have been drawn and the battle will come between the Tea Party and the establishment for the heart of the Republican Party. Madam President, I rise today in opposition to Obamacare. This endorsement by Eric Erickson at this year's Red State Convention sums up our Senate race quite when well. When Bob Bennett was running for re-election in Utah, everybody thought I was crazy to say Mike Lee should beat him. Mike Lee wasn't even at 1%. And he won. When Ted Cruz ran against David Dewhurst, a multimillionaire self-funder, they said we were crazy for supporting a guy that, as he pointed out, was at 2% in a plus or minus 3% poll. 
There's a doctor in North Carolina I want you to meet who's running against Kay Hagan. It's a Republican field with a lot of people. One of them is the Speaker of the House of Representatives of North Carolina, and I can tell you I would rather vote for the pile of brown goo on the side of the road in New Orleans than vote for that guy as a Republican in North Carolina. He's terrible. We gotta help this guy, Greg Brannon. The free exchange of ideas between you and me leads to Prosperity and freedom. Any hindrance in that takes it away. That's Adam Smith, Wealth of the Nation, 1776. Our founders knew that. Name one centralized government that got did anything better. He talked about Ronald Reagan saying, well, one generation away. I have another generation. Joseph Stalin said, well, one generation from getting rid of religion. You don't teach the kids, it's gone the next one. That's why our children are so important. Progressive income tax, no inheritance tax, um, government controlling agriculture, business, transportation. That's in the Bill of Rights? No, it's the Communist Manifesto. We have the best reformation system in the world. Every two years we elect. There's no more words, there's no more actions. I'm actually, when I hear the Tea Party's angry, I, uh, it's optimistic. We're the Ronald Reagans. We, we, uh, <laughs> we know, we know in every other country this would be impossible. This would be impossible. What's going to happen here is probable. They all know it.